you know what? Imagine all the fun we'll have, me and my friend, you know? Collecting tumors, spinning teeth for distance. All right, welcome back everyone. Thanks for tuning in. We have new games from new Epic. Game. Yeah. Just became available and we played them for you so that you don't waste your time. And the first one up is The End is Nigh. I don't like even the name of it because what does it even mean? Do you know what it means? I don't know. Ah, uh, okay. So nigh is kind of an old English, very formal word, but it means like it's very near, it's coming. So the end is okay. near, yeah. which yeah. explains the, yeah, it explains the atmosphere the of the game. Story. Yeah. And so I have to say, I don't like the game. I have to say it from the <laughs> straight beginning. Into because, it. <laughs> straight into it. Because All right. it's dark. It's you, have, you usually have no problem with dark games. Usually, usually, usually. The, so I mean, it's not bad. The graphic is fine. It's okay. Okay. But it's mm -hmm. too difficult in a way. You're gonna just spend time to do one level over and over, and you, you can you can die in this game like twenty times per minute. Now, Michal. Yeah. Last week we talked about Celeste. Yeah. I realize that. <laughs> you know where I'm going. Yeah. You die a heck of a lot more, yeah. and it's a lot more difficult to play Celeste. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because of the contrast with Celeste that mm -hmm. I actually like the end is nigh. Maybe I'm going. I'm going to get. I don't like it, but. I'm so what do you like about it? Okay. Tell me. Now I'm. I know I'm going to get a lot of heat for this because I'm not saying that the end is nigh that it is a better platformer than Celeste. I'm not saying that. But for me, for my type of gaming, okay. I found it to be more doable. Like I always had the feeling like that, that I, could, I could find a way to do it. Okay. And I think the main reason why is because of the speed. Like mm -hmm. in Celeste, if you're holding onto a wall, you can only hold for like a few seconds and you have to keep moving. Yeah, I think that Celeste is more of a puzzle game. And this game it's, is it's just jumping, so jumping, just, jumping, dying, yeah. dying. But but like if you hold on to a wall somewhere, if you decide to stop and like look at the situation, you can pause you, as long yeah, as you want. Yeah, usually time. No, I I think I think I, with at the beginning, yeah, but the end is nigh. I think you can control the pace a bit more. If you need to pause somewhere and wait for things to pass and choose your moment, you can choose. Whereas Celeste, if you don't time things absolutely perfectly from the beginning. But well, let's let's not compare it to Celeste because maybe that's, that's you haven't uh, watched our video with, on what? Celeste. You haven't watched you haven't the video of Celeste. Yeah. Watch watch the video of Celeste. You should do it though. <laughs> so the graphic is fine. The gameplay for me is horrible. The story, uh, it it the beginning is fine, but. I I will admit that yeah. the story is really weird. It doesn't it's bring weird. anything to it's the weird. game. Yeah. Um, but the actual gameplay, I, I enjoyed it and found it more engaging. And I okay. felt like it was a challenge, but I could achieve it if okay. I just kept trying. And I, I oh, enjoyed would, it. Would you, would you play it till the end if you didn't do the video? Um, because you've tried, you get to the like, let's say, 50% of the game, so you know what it's about. I know too. I mean, it doesn't. It Would doesn't. It? it wouldn't take so long to finish it. I think in a certain mood. Uh huh. Yeah, I I would go back and would continue playing it. Um, if I was looking for what something. What a weird mood. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <Okay>. that's fair. <laughs> Sometimes I have weird moods, guys. You're getting tumors in yeah. this game. Spoilers. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. Um, so, yeah. No, I admit that. But I, okay. I think anyone who's a fan of platformers would like this, and it's not, not necessarily. I, I disagree because you're a fan it, of, it's of like, platformers. I'm, I'm not uh, such a big fan, but I don't think like anybody who likes platformers would like this game. This game is fast to play, uh, fast to die, and there's not a big, great story behind it. So for, I, for me, I like the need of like why should I finish it okay because I don't see the reason in the story or the, the story gives you no reason to finish it now if you enjoy the gameplay I think each new challenge gives you a reason to kind of keep going and say okay how and this the dynamics change very very slowly of introducing new elements and therefore kind of making it gradually more challenging I find that engaging and interesting mm -hmm. and and I would recommend it especially this week because starting today, 
It's free for it's one free. week. Normally, it's 15 euros. Okay. It's not. Don't buy it for 15 euros. It's not worth that. No, I, I wouldn't consider it even, <laughs> even for, free. for free. But it's right. your choice, so, so you get two ideas. And you tell us what you think. Are you going to try it? If you've tried it, what do you think about mm -hmm. it? And the important question that we end a lot of these videos with, because this week there are two free games on Epic. The other one is Abzu. Mm -hmm. Check out that video also. If our audience has to decide between the Indesnai and Abzu, which one should they play? They should play the Abzu. And I have to agree. Ab <laughs> okay. Abzu is yeah. better, but we'll get to that. Check out the next video. Guys, Check thank you for watching. Tell us what you think. Subscribe. We're just getting started on YouTube, but lots, great, lots of great content to come. Stay Thanks. with us. See you in the next video. Bye.